Welcome to the Law of the Future podcast. It features articles and insights from Dennis Hilleman, an international expert in law and technology. He is a partner at the Hamburg office of the global law firm Field Fisher. Welcome to Netflix 2033, AI-driven entertainment at its finest. The 18th season of Breaking Bad is on tonight. Wait, what? This is the audio version of a Medium article written by Dennis Hilleman and the link to the article is in the description. Recently, someone questioned whether people in 2033 would still watch television shows. My answer surprised the entire room. I told them that there would be no classic Netflix anymore instead, it would evolve into a flix. This streaming service would provide viewers with whatever TV show they desired and it could play endlessly. Let's take a look at this vision of the future together. Netflix 10 years from now, in a decade's time, Netflix will be totally and unrecognizably different. Artificial intelligence AI will have replaced traditional production methods and users will be able to generate whatever media they wish. This transformation will be groundbreaking, allowing users to tailor the streaming experience like never before. The current model, Netflix's model rallies on outside sources to create and supply its content, like film companies and television networks. This way, it can offer customers a broad range of options, but it's also limited in what type of content is available. If Netflix utilizes AI-generated media, though, the potential for content tailored to individuals' preferences is limitless the streaming service will suddenly have an almost infinite library of carefully crafted material. What will Netflix 2033 be like? No need to wait for the next installment of Stranger Things you can create it. Netflix is harnessing the power of AI to generate content that is tailored to a user's individual preferences. The system takes into account data such as viewing habits, likes and dislikes, and demographics in order to craft content that will meet the needs of every person who logs onto the streaming platform. Netflix's AI-driven content creation system will help the streaming service offer content far more advanced than what's already available. The AI will look at user data and create custom-made films, shows, and documentaries that fit the user's preferences. So, if someone enjoys action films, then the AI could create an action movie just for them. The AI will not only generate content tailored to users' desires, but it will also suggest films and shows to watch based on their previous viewings. This algorithm is much more advanced than any pre-existing system on the streaming service, as it can consider each user's individual taste and favorite types of movies and shows in its selection process. So Kevin James, Prepare yourself, because I'm moving on to the next season of King of Queens on my Netflix 2033, the 28th season, and Arthur is still living in your basement. I think I'll also watch 30 Rock with Tina Fey, even though it's the 25th season. My Netflix 2033 keeps making the same jokes about Tracy and Jenna, but I'm not bothered I still like it. Before bed, I'm going to watch the 18th season of Breaking Bad. Walter White has taken over half of South America while Jesse Pinkman is Prime Minister of Italy. To be honest, I have no clue how this happened, but in my version of Breaking Bad, it makes sense. Decision making, I'm watching the 31st season of Friends, and it's not what I want to see. Ross and Rachel are about to get married again, which I'm not interested in. So, I reach up to my ear and activate my voice assistant, asking for them to switch it up so that Phoebe and Ross become a couple. In just a minute, the episode starts again and Phoebe confesses her love for Ross before the wedding ceremony. It's perfect, just what I wanted to watch on Netflix. The AI-driven content creation platform that Netflix has developed allows for interactive content where viewers can affect the story and ultimately change the outcome. By giving users the opportunity to interact with their media, the experience of watching Netflix becomes much more immersive and engaging. No borders, finally, 
Netflix's utilization of artificial intelligence in its content creation process will help them speed up their production cycle. This will let Netflix remain current with the ever-changing tastes of its audience and supply them with new shows and movies consistently. So on my friends, Ross was not happy to find out that Rachel from Friends is now dating Tracy Jordan from 30 Rock in my mashup of the two shows. That's what happens when you combine different shows. Everyone likes to do it, and sometimes the results can be really unexpected. My Game of Thrones and Vikings crossover saw Jon Snow get beheaded by a Viking, which wasn't what I was hoping for. Luckily, my Star Trek and Battlestar Galactica combination turned out great, and Darda is now king of the Salons while Picard is Emperor of the Humans. My wife didn't have as good luck with her Emily in Paris Bridgerton mashup. Something involving a time warp caused characters from Bridgerton to appear on Emily's Instagram account. I got away with slipping Barney from How I Met Your Mother in without her noticing though. He's still as great as ever, even though he has to be at least 60 by now but he still looks 30. This speculation is all a bit far-fetched, but I think this is how we must consider the potential of AI-driven content. Anything could be possible. It's a given that the introduction of this sort of content will give streaming services like Netflix the capability to craft material for every individual user and quickly keep up with rapidly changing demands. In addition, streaming services may even supply interactive experiences, making watching movies or shows more involving than it is at present. This could cause a revolution in the entertainment industry that has not been seen before. Dennis Hillen and hundreds of other tech-savvy lawyers and experts cordially invite you to join the Law of the Future community absolutely free. Through this community, attorneys and professionals in different parts of the globe are able to come together and exchange thoughts, materials, and conversations about law and tech. Go to www.lawofthefuture.club and join for free. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. If you want to keep up to date with technology and law, connect with Dennis on LinkedIn. Share your thoughts and reach out to him. See you in the next episode.